So, Shanika, I was wondering how do I stop running out of time in the UCAT? Yeah, so time is a crucial part of this exam. Now you've got 233 questions that you need to answer in just 120 minutes. In one section of the exam, you're given 14 seconds per question. So the reality is time is one of the challenges that you'll have to navigate. So I'd like to use the framework to teach this that I call the competency model, which means when you first look at UCAP questions, you're looking at these questions and whether it seems easy or hard, you just don't know anything about the exam. So we call this unconscious incompetence. We don't know how much we don't know. But after we looked at this question for a while, maybe you go to a friend, maybe you go to a teacher, maybe a tutor, and you understand uh, that there is a way to solve this question, you realise all of a sudden that you are consciously incompetent. Right? So the difference between these two states is you don't know how much you don't know, but now you know how much you don't know. From this point is the process of learning. You need to realise how much you don't know in order to go on a process of understanding, a process of learning. So this is where a lot of the work comes in. Right? You, you sit down, you look at you know, maybe videos like this, uh, and you realise that, okay, there's a process to answering this question, and you go through it, you understand it, and you learn it. And with enough work, you might become consciously competent. Conscious competency. But this, even this is not enough. When people say, I just don't have enough time, they're struggling on this stage because this is not about speed. If I took 10 minutes to answer one question, but I got it correct, that's still consciously competent. Eventually, when you are able to do this well enough, there's a process that happens which is called unconscious competency. And that's where things become autonomous. You become so good at something that you don't even need to think about it anymore. It's not steps in your mind, it's just instinctive, intuitive understanding. So this is where speed comes in. But if you look at this model, talking about speed and time is the final part of the equation. What about before that? You need to be able to solve this question perfectly before we even talk about speed. But before that, you need to understand what this question is about. You need to understand what's being tested, why is it on the exam, and then to reverse engineer that. And before that even, you have to recognise that you may not know what you don't know just yet. So this is the model of competency and speed is the final step of that equation.